Hey everybody, Paint here. <laughs> Kathleen here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. <laughs> Phil, okay, Phil, that's enough. <laughs> You've that's only enough. said it a thousand times. Well, hey, you're gonna get it right one of these days. I, I don't know. <laughs> hey everybody, this is Kathy with Paint Pouring there you go. by Kathleen Miller. I get the Kathleen and the Kathy mixed up because you know, usually it's Kathleen and Kathy, who knows what it is. Sometimes it's Kate, I don't know. It's, it's just me. You know me, everybody. And if you're new, hi, I'm Kathy. Nice to meet you all. <laughs> so anyways, um, today was an exciting day. We hit 30,000 subscribers this morning. I am so pumped and excited. I'm going to make myself a creation that I don't even know how it's going to turn out because I'm so excited. But anyways, I already have my canvas with my base coat down, which is Sherwin-Williams color to go. It's white. There's no silicone. There's no glue. There's no water in it. Um, my colors I'm using today are Quinac Verdon Magenta by Golden. This is Jasmine Primary Elements and Abalone Shell, which is Bling It, which is also Primary Elements. Or by Color Art, I should say. This is Mandarin Blush Primary Elements and Vermilion Artist Loft, which is mixed together. And I'm going to throw in a little bit of Wine and Roses by Primary Elements. For my foliage, I'm using Green Gold by Golden, which is Fluid. This is Hooker's Green by Blick and Olive Vine by Primary Elements. Turquoise Phalo by Golden. And then I'm going to throw in a little bit of Egyptian Coin by Prism Pour. What like an Egyptian? So, we're going to get started here with our foliage and see what happens. Here's our Hooker's Green by Blick. So you're uh, going to be doing something you really, really uh, haven't, haven't done before, I don't think. I've done foliage and okay. uh, some blooms, but All right. well, this is a pretty small canvas. I think that's a 10 by 10 canvas? Yeah, it's a baby. I don't use babies too often. But I thought, ah, why not? We're going to see what happens. Do I want to do any more? Eh, we'll see after I blow those out. I, I don't know. I have not decided yet, Phil. So yeah, 30,000 subscribers. Thank you. Thank you, all of you who have subscribed. <laughs> and uh, I, I'm, it's just overwhelming. Overwhelming for Phil and I. If it wasn't for you guys, we would not be here. We love doing this for everybody. Hopefully you can learn something. And um, we hope to keep it up. Yeah, it's been a it's been a fun ride so far. That's for sure. And uh, Kathy's uh, Facebook group called Paint Point by Kathleen Miller is now approaching twenty thousand uh, members. And if you're a member of the Facebook group and not a member of her channel, uh, please subscribe to her YouTube channel because in addition you get uh, access to all the affiliate got... discounts that Kathy has. Where is it? And you also get uh, access to over 600 videos, or almost 600 videos that Kathy has done of all different types. So be a member of both. Yeah. Have fun. first one. Now Kathy is putting cell activator on which is black Amsterdam paint and Australian Floetrol. Yeah I'm just kind of messing around here today. If you hear that growling in the background that's Phil growling. <laughs> oh no, yeah right. <laughs> doing huh she wants you to throw you, you want to play huh okay later 
Yep, she wants to play. She has her ball right down by Phil's feet. Now she picked it up, and away she goes. Yeah, Kathy bought her a couple new balls yesterday, and uh, those are her best BFFs, I guess you call them now. <laughs> they are. All these paints and pigments that Kathy is using today have the same recipe, and as in video 487, there's a direct link to that recipe video in the description box. You'll learn her secret recipes for her pouring medium, her cell activator, and also some tips on how she does her bases, especially uh, some colored bases that she makes on her own. Direct link to that recipe video is in the description box. Okay. Okay. Got, you got my a little, foliage. Got done. a little bit of foliage going there. Okay. Now we're gonna do a few little flowers in here. Okay. Hey everybody! I gotta let you know if you've been with us, we've been having these uh, two little baby birds that we can look out our loft window, sliding glass door. And I have been waiting for them to fly. Well, today... Well, you got to let them know they were... The, the mom put the nest in a palm tree in <laughs> her backyard. And she had these two little critters. And they were getting big. And they were getting kind of... Wasn't enough room hardly in the nest for them anymore. Well, today when I came up... Because I check on them the first thing when I, when I get up. And the one had the other one like at the end. And yep. she kept looking at, she kept looking at her sibling like, wait a minute. Um, I don't have any room here. Don't push me. Well, she pushed her so far that she fell out and she had to fly. Now, the other one is looking like, oh, uh oh, where did you go, sister? All of a sudden, she came back and flew into the nest. Yep. The one that was pushed out. The one out. that was pushed out. Yeah. Now they're both out sitting on the ledge looking like, what are we going to do now? Where do we go from here? Yeah, what do we eat? Where do we go? Right. It's Hell, so cute. Where's mom? I know. It's so darn cute. I hope they come back again. Because they might, you know, decide to go back into the nest. But who knows? I don't know. But that takes up a good part of my day watching these two. <laughs> I'm getting nothing done. I know. I keep. I have to keep telling you, come on, let's get going and get and uh, do something. He goes, come no, on, I are we going to do this. this video? I go, I got, I got to see the babes. He goes, well, I got to water. Well, sorry, I got to watch my babies. Okay, I'm going to throw in a little bit of my Egyptian coin. Oh. oh, that's okay. That'll blow out. Okay. Here we go, Phil. Okay, well, let's start to blow, right? Do the middle one first. I like my foliage. <clears throat> yes. Kathy does have four different shops for you to peruse. She has her Etsy shop, which has all her original art for sale in there. Of course, she has her Amazon shop, which has all the supplies you may need for paint pouring. She has a Redbubble shop, which is a shop that has her original art images imprinted on a wide variety of merchandise. And she has her Le Galerist fine clothing shop, 
which again has her images imprinted on really cool dresses and skirts and tops and things like that. So it's fun to peruse around in there, to click on a image and see what it looks like on different merchandise or clothing. Direct links to those four shops are in the description box. Wow. Here we go. I love those colors you put together for the blooms. These are pretty. Are you going to try to bring up some of that center part? Yeah, I will. Okay. I just want to get this before it goes off. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. It's running away from us. Too close to the edge. Just how I wanted it to be like that. Too. Okay. So what Kathy is doing is she's using the flexible straw to blow on the cell activator she put in the middle. As you can see, it, it brings up the colors that were underneath the cell activator. Do I want to tie that in with them or do I want to leave them separate? Well, I would, I think I'd leave them separate, but tie, use the, uh, the stick to, okay. Okay. Because if you're going to do a little bit of spinning, that might put them together. I didn't want to do that. No, you didn't. I did not want to do that, people. As you can see, there's a little bit of line going that way. And Kathy dripped on the canvas when she okay. lifted the wrecking stick. And that's why uh, she tries to not do that, of course, and then clean her stick after every time she uses it. I did not want to do that, but that's okay. Okay, now we're going to bring this. You're going over it. Like this. Yeah, be careful. Oh, my allergies today. People are really bad again. I even took my allergy pill. It ain't helping. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of things blooming around here, that's for sure. Okay. I think I'm going to leave it and I'm going to spin and see what happens. O okay, all right. Oh. I'm hoping that this comes down. Well, you can tilt it if you want to. 
or you can spin it first. Or you can blow it. There you go. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Did you want it to wreck a little bit so it's, it has some wrecking on that area there? Oh, well, maybe right here. I mean, a couple, a couple in there from. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I might as well do this one while I'm mm. at it too. Okay, so we're gonna spin this out and see what happens. Okay. Very pretty colors. I just want to get this off like that. I'll bring it back in. Okay, is that in the middle? Let me see. Yeah, it is. See, I wanted to take that off, like that side. Okay. But I want to look. I want you to look at it like that, because I want the foliage here, and I want oh, the I flowers see. coming. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, I like it like that. That's cool. Yeah, that's, that's very how cool. I wanted it very to cool. Look. Real nice flower in the middle. Your foliage along the edge. Yeah, exactly. So. I like it. Okay, everybody. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. This was just, uh, I was just practicing doing these different colors to see if I liked them together. I think they're really, really pretty together. Um, so that, that was my thing today. Now I got to go back and watch the birds. I had to get through this pretty quick. So, you know. But anyways, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel. We hit 30,000 subscribers. I'm going to go celebrate at uh, Starbucks today. And Phil and I are going to have, you know, a vente, whatever. So until the next time, stay healthy, stay safe. And we love all of you. And see you later, alligators. Bye.